Hey guys, Brian here. I'm recording this at home because it was so windy at Magic Kingdom today. So I started out at Main Street, standing up at the train station, and it is crowded. It's Saturday, President's Day, around noontime, and there's a huge crowd, as you can see, at Magic Kingdom. Well, the monthly pirate merchandise is difficult to get. You see the ears, they got to restock them. They're gone already. These are the magic bands that are $19.99. And the lounge fly, which no one is buying actually. The lounge fly is $45. I haven't seen anyone buy the lounge fly. The mini. I did get one of these. Mini is $29.99. Those are selling pretty good. The coffee cups are $19.99. Oops, I'm sorry. Excuse me. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen such a mob for one specific item. These pirate ears, they can't keep them in stock. As soon as they fill them up, boom, people start to go for them. This guy just filled up this side here. There you go. And they will be gone in about five minutes and he'll have to restock them. He's just going around and around and around in the circle, restocking and restocking. So here they go, boom. People are already going over there to buy them. <laughs> the cashier said she's been working in this store for 20 years and this is one of the hottest selling things she's ever seen are these ears. They just took off the racks that were holding the ears. So I think they're almost out in the park for the day because they took down the racks that they were hanging them on just now. So I got here just in time. Wow, I can't believe if I would have gotten here 15 minutes later, I wouldn't have gotten any of these ears. Look at that. Magic Kingdom was just so crowded. I mean, it was crowded, man. I didn't get off Main Street. It was just too much. And I just, you know, forget it. So I'm gonna go to Epcot. And I'm sure it's busy there too, but I'm hoping not as busy, not as crowded as Magic Kingdom, which was just completely out of control. Of course, I had the park so far away, but I did get my wife some things here. I got her this really cool, this Minnie Mouse, which is from Pirates of the Caribbean this month, which is really, really nice. I like it. Last month I got her the Space Mountain Mini. Now I got her the Pirates of the Caribbean Mini. I also got her the Pirates of the Caribbean ears, which the cashier told me are reversible, as I said earlier. Uh, they're really nice, and they are $29.99. So it was worth the trip in the Magic Kingdom to get these, because after this month, you won't be able to get them again. And the way these sold out while I was right there, I don't know if I'd be able to get these next weekend. So I'm glad I came today and got them. It was the first day they were on sale. So, and they're selling that fast on the first day. I was blown away by that. All right, I'm gonna head over to Epcot now and uh, let's see what's going on at Epcot. I'm over at Epcot now, just got off the tram. This is the East Tram, which I've never been on before. It's this new tram, little drop-off station. It looks crowded here because the place that I parked in the parking lot here at Epcot is an area I never park in. I don't think I've ever parked over there. So it must be crowded if they have people parking over in that area. I can see the very tip of the new fountain when they're bringing back that, you know, that clear plexiglass thing at the fountain that was there at the original opening at Epcot Center. I can see one of it, one little piece of it right there. This sign is new. It's right under Spaceship Earth, okay? 
Mission Space, the Epcot Experience World Showcase, Mouse Gear Shopping. You need the signs because it's so confusing. It's a maze of walls here at Epcot, and it changes all the time. So every time or two I come, the walls and the paths and the maze lead you in a different way to a different place. So I'm actually using signs at Epcot these days. So here's Spaceship Earth, and then these trees are blocking the path. More of the maze, tons of construction. And a 45 minute wait for Spaceship Earth. Well, Penn Central and the Electric Umbrella are closing after today. So I'm gonna see if I can find a pin I'm looking for at Penn Central. And then I'm gonna get lunch at Electric Umbrella, which will be the last time I eat there until whenever they're done remodeling it, which I don't know when that'll be. The crowd is insane here too. Look at this, this is Spaceship Earth. Now last Saturday when I was here, it was a 25 minute wait, now it's a 45 minute wait. The crowds are pretty heavy. The Penn Central guy told me that Penn Traders has the Festival of the Arts Figment Festival pen. So I'll go in there and see if they have it. If I can make it through this wall of people, my goodness. Now this is the festival figment pen that I got for my wife and with my pass holder discount, I actually got $3.20 off of it. So that was a really good deal. And it's a nice pen too, I like it a lot. I was going to eat at Electric Umbrella to have my last meal here, but the line is so long, it goes out the door. And it kind of smells in here. This, this place needs a remodeling. I'm not really crazy about eating here, so I'll find some quick service somewhere else. Let's see, that robot is $400 for the robot. The spaceship here, this is $430. That one in the back has a, like a candy deep fry cooking thermometer. It's a ray gun and it's $400. And the decadent delights, which is right before you get to Canada, it's before Starbucks, before Canada, and I'm gonna try this lemon blood orange tart. It's $6.50, it looks good. At least it looks different, so I'll try that out. This is the blood orange tart. It looks good. I hope it's tart, I like things that are tart. I don't know what it's made of, I don't know what is in it. It costs $6.50, which isn't all that bad, so let's give it a try. I wouldn't say it was tart, but it was good. It was pretty tasty. And for $6.50, it's okay, I mean, I. I don't know if I'd get it a second time, but it, it's not bad. Just give you an idea of the lines. This is the Japan booth where they sell shaved ice that has sake in it. And look at the line. This is just for shaved ice sake. All the way back here. It's $9 for the shaved ice sake. And that's the end of the line. Some of those people look old enough for sake. This is in front of Mexico, the Margarita booth, and this is literally wasting away in Margaritaville. Here's the start of the line. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. on. Literally living the song out, wasting away in Margaritaville. It even wraps around in there. So I mean, it's nuts. I think you'd have to order two after that long wait in line. I just came in the Epcot experience just to cool off and get some air conditioning because it is so hot outside and getting hotter every minute. But it's cool in here. This one, and Just to give you an idea of how these walls are a base, okay, here's Spaceship Earth. 
and I usually walk out this way. It's completely blocked off due to construction. So I gotta walk all the way around the other side of Spaceship Earth. I got a lot in today, I think. I got that great dessert, checked out some of the art, got the great ears over at Magic Kingdom, and it's only about four o'clock in the afternoon, so I got a lot done in a little bit of time. But uh, I'm ready to get in my car, get in the air conditioning, and head home.